Hey guys, I am back with another video, and hopefully this one will be more of a helpful video. It has been highly requested for a long time now, so I finally have time to film this because of the virus going around and I'm at home more often, so I'm just really, really excited to finally film this video for you. As you can tell by the title, it is how to package up photo cards for trading. So I picked up some different kind of styles of photo cards. As you can see, I have all my supplies out here. I'll clear my desk here and I'll go through everything that you will need, basically like essentials that you will need to package up trades. The first thing I think is important to have for trading photo cards is cards. You can buy a pack like this. Actually, these weren't the original designs, as you can see. I did buy this from Walmart. It came with four different designs. And then I kind of just kept the little box and when I kept replacing different um, styles of cards, I just kept them in here to have a place to keep them. There's those. And also when it comes to bigger cards, I have these big envelopes. I actually got these from the dollar store. I have a, I just bought like a bunch of them because they were only $1.25. So they're called craft envelopes, but they are good for um, mailing off bigger cards. That's an option as well. You will also need washi tape if you aren't able to get washi tape because it's not always super easy to find them because you do have to buy them online or if you find them at a craft store like Michael's you can always do that but if you don't have washi tape just regular tape is fine but some sort of tape is needed not always needed but for me personally it's nice to have tape you will also need top loaders these are the different styles I will go through the different styles um, but top loaders is definitely a must for me personally. Next, you will also need penny sleeves. It's not totally necessary, but I think it's good to have extra protection, so you can get these on Amazon. Same with the top loaders. Notepads are also something you may need. If you don't really care to be extra and write on little notepads, you can just write your note inside the card, but for me, I personally like writing them on these little notepads, so I have different styles here. Um, I have bigger ones, ones that can stick, ones that don't stick. You can do whatever you personally like, but there are these notepads that you can use to write your notes on. I also have this um, thing just full of notepads that people actually gifted me. Like Pretty much everything in here were notepads that were gifted to me. Um, I'll go through like the different ways I like to package, but yeah, I have like a bunch of different like little tiny notepads that were all gifted to me, so I do use these um, in a happy holidays box. Obviously, you will need your pens or pencils, felts, whatever you decide to write with. Um, I, this is just like my little case of whatever, like scissors, um, highlighters, pens, pencils, whatever, just like it's all in here, so you'll definitely need something to write with. These are totally optional, it's just something to be extra with if you want to. They're little like pull tabs that you can use to like stick them in the photo card to be able to pull them out easily. It's totally unnecessary but you can if you want to. These are just a few different designs. Another major big thing you will need are stamps. I have a big roll of US stamps because I mean I'm from Canada but I tend to trade with people that live in the US a lot so I just buy the big roll online. I actually do have a business account with Canada Post so I do get discounts on stuff like this and I'm able to buy stuff like this online. I mean you can buy this in person but it's just easier to buy it online for me and so these are the US stamps that I have and then these are Canadian stamps. I don't trade, um, oops that's a sticker, <laughs> randomly got in there. I don't trade within Canada that often because it just seems that there aren't that many K-pop fans in Canada as there are in the US. So that's why I still have like Christmas ones left over. So. And then these are my international stamps. Oh, I only have one left. I bought these Year of the Rat stamps. I thought they were really cute. I just like to have the different types because I do tend to trade with like Europe and the US a lot. If you are from Canada, you can use two US stamps and it will be good enough to trade internationally. But um, one, if you buy international stamps, just one is good. So. This is also unnecessary, but since I have a business account with Canada Post, these are free. So when I'm trading to the US or internationally, I like to put these airmail stickers on the letter. It feels like they put priority on them if you have the sticker on, or they just tend to not ever get lost if I have these stickers on. I've just noticed that. I just usually like putting these stickers on if I'm trading to the US or international. It's totally not needed, but I just personally like having them. They are free from Canada Post, so. 
Another thing I like to do, it's totally unnecessary, it's just because I have so much, is putting in freebies with your trade. I have so many freebies just because people have given me so many freebies. I just usually like to just give freebies to people, whatever. So I have like so many. This isn't even all of them. I have more in this little thing too, so. <laughs> <laughs> also another thing that I like to use that's totally unnecessary but it's just nice to be able to use it um ignore this like hello kitty thing I've had this since I was like what like grade eight or something I just use this to keep my stickers in here I actually have a lot of things I use in here that have to do with trading I have some of these stickers that were gifted to me from like k-pop stores k-town free used to give like stickers like this they don't anymore but um I still have them all like these I sometimes use them in trades I, I used to use them more than I do now, but I still do use them, so I just have this thing full of stickers. And speaking of stickers, I also have this huge, like, tin full of stickers that were, like, all gifted to me, pretty much. I think that's why people have gifted me so many stickers, because I do really like stickers. I like using them in trades, so that is not needed, but um, if you want to be creative, stickers are needed then. I'm not going to show the actual, like, front of this, but... You can create your own labels. I bought these Avery ones and I just like, while you're doing it online, you can type your address in there and everything and do a cute design. Um, trying to cover my address. I created the shiny logo there and then my address is right beside it. So that's totally unneeded. That's just me being extra. You can always do that, but most people just write out their um, return addresses on themselves on the envelope. So as you saw in the beginning of the video, I grabbed a bunch of different styles of photo cards. So there is your typical normal small sized Korean photo card, whatever. This one I do need to package up anyways because I do have a trade lined up, that's why I picked this card. And then we also have, this I don't have a trade lined up for yet, but I do need to trade this. It is an extra of mine. It is these weird photo slides from EXO's Obsession album. Those, like, it's not much different from the Korean photo card here. It depends what kind of top loader you have. That is a different style of card that I can show how to package up. This, I don't have a trade lined up for yet, but I will need to trade this. It is like one of those standy things. I have an extra of this sua, but it is slightly bigger than a Korean photo card. And then lastly, we have a postcard style. This is an extra of mine. It was actually given to me. I already have this, but um, I'll just use it as something to show how to package up. I just last minute grabbed this as well because it is bigger than this, so this is more of a bigger style and I will be trading this eventually. Not trading it now because of the virus and I just not, I'm not trading things right now, but this is slightly bigger so we can go through how to trade that as well. But yeah, these are the different kind of styles that I will show you how I would personally package them up and yeah, let's get right into it. So we'll start off with the small average sized Korean photo card. So I have these pack of whatever actually this as i mentioned these didn't originally come in this lately i've just been buying like single packs and i've just been storing them in this little box thing but they come like this they are pretty small so they're good to use for small cards and they do come with an envelope like this so i usually just put I take this out, but I put this off to the side. Normally, I would look through, it sounds kind of creepy, I don't mean to do this in a creepy way or anything, but I'll look through whoever I'm trading with's Instagram to see like what groups they stand and everything, to see like what freebies I can give them. So let's just say like, oh, perfect, I have this, I have this, you know, freebie right here. So like, I'll like gather some freebies um, for them and whatever let's just say they also stand 17 so i'll grab that if they do make it obvious what groups they like i'll just be a creep and just find out like what freebies i can give them so i'll go like this and i'll leave that off to the side okay let's say this person also likes exo i don't really know if this person that i'm trading with does like exo but let's pretend they do hopefully they don't mind exo so i'll take a small one like this this is what i like to do um i'll take a small one then I'll take my, lately I've been really liking writing with these like um, felts, but the small ones like this, it's better to write with a normal pen like this because they're it's pretty small and this felt is kind of thick. Whatever. Let's just write with the normal pen. If I'm writing on the hard surface, I like to take a piece of paper. This is like a thick kind of cardstock paper and I'll put this over top to write so it doesn't like... So it shows up better, if you know what I mean. So I'll just like write my note really quickly.
excuse my really bad writing i have like terrible writing <laughs> and especially right now it's like a super bad angle but this is like usually what i write hello thanks for trading please let me know when mino gets to you um i usually sometimes will write more like i hope it gets to you safely or whatever but these notes are super small so i have very limited room for something to say but um that's like usually kind of what i write i usually like to have my note on this side and the card on this side i don't know why it's just what i like to do and so if, if you have a card like this and it's, if you can't really write on this so that's why it's also good to have little notepads like this as well or little yeah notepads i guess that's the word anyway so i'll turn it on this side and i'll put the note here and then i'll take this is actually lucky i have this little you know i actually kind of want to keep this for myself to put it on the back of my um phone case but so i don't think i'll do this but um so what i'll do is i'll try and find a small card like this like a small freebie like this and then do this so it kind of like adds something else so it's not just a boring note and I'll go like that and then I'll put washi tape on the back. So let me just do that right now. Oh, I forgot to mention, here's my little, someone gifted to me, actually my friend Daisy gifted this to me um, when I met up with her at the Stray Kids concert. I actually met her for the first time there, but we became friends. So shout out to Daisy for giving this to me. <laughs> she got this from Tokyo Disneyland. Um, anyway, so I put my little, like people gift me washi tape all the time. And if they're small like this, I can put them in here. What I will normally do is I'll take like a more, neutral boring color kind of like with no cute designs on them i'll take like either of those something like that and use those as like tape on the back of the card if that makes sense it's better to use washi tape for something like this and not real tape because it will damage because i don't know what people do with these when i put them here if they save them or not or if they just keep them in the card i'm not really sure but if they ever do want it to save the photo themselves i use washi tape uh, and not real tape so it doesn't damage the the fake card the freebie <laughs> And shout out to all the people that have ever given me um, washi tapes like this. Thank you, because <laughs> I do put great use to them. So I'll take probably about that much. And then I will go like this. And I'll take my note. Put it on the back like that. I'll try my best to like line it up properly. <laughs> then I'll put it down there. So there's my note. And I'll do the same for the freebie. this and then put that on the back and then stick that right here beside it i'll try my best to because i don't have that many of these kind of photos but i'll do my best to put a member or something there of a group or member that this person stands if i have extra time or whatever i'll take one of my smaller washi tapes like this one usually i'll cut these with the scissors so i take a very small little size like this much and then I will do this <laughs> I'll like put them on all corners it kind of like extra like so it's not like all sticking up whenever I kind of put this on very badly as you can see it's crooked normally I'm much more careful on like how <laughs> aligned it is but I'm sorry <laughs> it's because I'm doing this at a very bad angle but I will usually not usually sometimes I do this also, I'm kind of blind right now. I'm not really wearing my contacts or my glasses, so it's kind of hard for me to see. This is what I just like to do to be extra. And this is like the use I put to these super thin washi tapes because you can't really put much use to these unless you do something like this. Anyways, that's um, how I do this. <laughs> and then when it comes to the card, I'll take one of my penny sleeves right here and I will put him in here. Oops. I will put him in here. If I only have like one or two freebies for the person, I will put them in here as well. Um, so since like, let's just say this person literally only likes Stray Kids in 17, so I only had one 17 freebie. And so I would just go like this and put that in the back as well. It is safe to do that if you have like one freebie for doing them in the small top loader. So I'll take my top loader and before I put it in, I will. This is like totally optional. I'll take one of these. I've been using these lately. They're super cute. Someone gifted this to me. These little kitties. I've only actually recently been doing this. Oop. Because I kind of like it. Okay, there we go. So I'll kind of place it right there so it kind of sticks out a little bit here. And then I will put this in here. There we go. 
so it kind of sticks out there so it's easy for them to use this to pull the photo card out and it looks really cute i do that and now this is where i take out my washi tape i like to put a thick washi tape at the bottom as like support i guess so i have this thick um 17 washi tape but when i say thick i mean like how wide it is compared to like other washi tapes like this i have this like mark lee washi tape you see it's thinner so I usually use those for the sides or something, but I don't know why I just like to have the thick washi tape at the bottom. I don't know why. It's just me personally. So let's just cut out the this text right here. Oops. It's so hard to do this like at this angle. Um, usually I'll cut them. Some people just rip them. I personally just like to cut them. I don't know why. And then I'll stick this right here. And then I'll go like this. Try and make that like even or whatever. <laughs> Then I'll stick that down there. Sorry, my camera is like leading up against the desk so it kind of knocks. This is like one of my favorite washi tapes. It's so cute. It's this little Shiba Inu with these little flowers. It's super cute. I just will use these for the sides. I usually do up to like three dogs length. I'll put this on the side. I'm so blind right now. I hope I'm like not doing this totally weird. I literally can't see. <laughs> okay, so I think I did that more. Oh, as you can see, I did this way more to, to the right. I'm like blind right now, but anyways. We'll stick with the, the Shiba Inu dog theme because I have these as well. I really like Shiba Inus. I don't know why. Um, so for this one, two dogs length is enough for the top. So, whoops. Then we'll just put this right here. I'm like blind, so things are becoming a little off. <laughs> but anyways, this is kind of how trades look for me. I will say though, if you make it obvious that you stand a lot of groups, and let's just say, here's a thick stack of freebies that is grabbed from my pile of freebies. If I'm giving you a thick stack of freebies like this, I will take um, one of these penny sleeves and I'll put them in here in just the penny sleeve like this. Okay, this is really thick. I usually don't give like super thick amount. But I'll put them in here. I will take a washi tape and just like go like this and then close it up. We're not going to do that now because too lazy. And then I'll take another washi tape and do what I did with like with, with these. I'll take a amount, put it in a circle, plop it on the back there and stick it on the top here. It does make the letter become super thick, but whatever for this person we're not i used to tape this up but it for me it was difficult opening them up when people did it for me i found it was like extra difficult to open up and i don't like making things difficult so honestly just leaving it closed as it is is fine and then obviously you will write the person's address on the envelope where is my pen oh here it is so for me um i like to use my little return address things but you just write your address in the corner here, your name and then your address, and then just write their name and address right in the middle, whatever. And then sometimes I'll like decorate the outside of the envelope. Not always, I don't usually do it, but anyways, so then I'll just put this in like this, like that, and then I'll close it up. I usually always put a sticker here, like say something like this, sticking with the Shiba Inu theme. <laughs> I'll stick that here. And I used to do washi tape here, but I was too lazy nowadays, so I just take my tape, I just take a tiny little bit and do them near the top, so I just feel like it's safe to put the, it there at the top, but that's usually what I do, and then it's ready to go, and then take your stamp, um, you know, pretty obvious, take your stamp, put it in the corner there, I think that's pretty obvious, or if you don't have stamps yourself, bring it to the post office, and they'll put a stamp on it, and you just buy the stamp, that is also an option, but... Yeah, so that is how I package up small photo cards. When it comes to something like these little uh, photo slides, I noticed they don't fit in the normal top loaders. It just doesn't fit. You don't want to uh, force that in there. So if you have the bigger top loaders, these would work perfect for this. Just slide that in there. Also, I do recommend 
it's totally fine I guess if you put it in there like that but I would recommend plastic to put over top of it example this I think someone else used this for the photo slide just as extra protection if you know what I mean you would put it inside and then put it in there you can buy these top loaders online I would definitely recommend trying to find them for something like this. I'm not going to open this because this is someone else's trade with me. Like their card and note is inside, so I'm not gonna open it. But like a card like this, that's a bit bigger and you can fit something big like this inside, that would work. So I would recommend just trying to find, usually you can't find these in like bulk. And then the same process goes, you know, with the, with the note and everything. You can do whatever you want with the washi tape and just tape it up, whatever. I would recommend taping this though, so it's safe in there, I guess. I forgot to mention this, but if you're putting in a bunch of freebies with a card, I would recommend using the thick top loaders if you're putting in the freebies with the card, just so it keeps the card extra safe. Just wanted to add that in. Next kind of style card we have here. Sorry, I should move all of this out of the way. These like standees. So also, you know, top loaders work perfect for this if you have the right size. So let's see, this would probably fit in there. Oh yeah, it looks like it would fit perfectly. Honestly, these are like lifesavers, these top loaders for real. Yep, if you have a big top loader like this, oh man, that works perfectly. It fits in there perfectly. And if you have the bigger card style like this, it would just fit in there perfectly. Um, and also, if you if you don't have a big card like this though, you can always like make sure you carefully tape this up and you can put them in this bigger kind of um, envelope but what I like to do is like fold it so it's nice and tight in there let's pretend you tape this all up I would put this in here and then what I would do is like put this down and then I would fold this to fit the shape so it's nice and snug so it's not all loose in there I just think it's extra safe so I would definitely if you're doing it like this definitely fold it up and tape that down so it's extra secure in there as an option if you don't have big top loaders like this, someone did this for me, <laughs> it does work. You can tape two small top loaders together. I thought this was kind of clever. Someone did this uh, in a trade with me. You can use this as like a kind of like a protection on the back. First, I would put it in something like this in a little sleeve protector thing. Oh wow, this fits perfectly. Oh wow, this, this like, I just found this in my room. It was meant for this, man. <laughs> so I'd put it in something like this first. Since this is in this little protector thing, you can then tape this. I would not recommend taping the card if it's not in something like this because the tape could possibly damage the card. So I definitely would recommend putting in something like this. And then, you know, I think this is a great idea. This is if you don't have cardboard. You can also use cardboard. Um, like just cut out, if you have boxes, cut out a shape in this size and then use that as like a protection, you know, to sit it on like this. And then if you want to be extra cautious, put a piece of cardboard on the top and then tape it. I've done that before too, but I think this is a great idea. Just make sure you have a really sturdy tape that you taped it well enough and then make sure you can tape this. I'll just do this as an example. I have this like bigger tape. You can use this like bigger tape. So you can go like this. Only do this if it is in something like this, a plastic. You can go like this, like that. So secure that with washi tape so it's nice and snug in there and all secure. Honestly, this works out fine and then you can go ahead and put that in here like I showed. And honestly, that's probably perfectly fine. As I said, as long as you do fold it and make sure it's snug, so then we know for a fact it won't go flopping around everywhere in there. <laughs> that I would definitely recommend doing. Um, and then obviously you can write your note in there as well. So then I would write your note on something like this. These aren't sticky. Just like write your note, oh like, Thanks for trading, hope Sua gets to you safely, blah, blah, blah. Rip this off and then you can like stick this on top or you can maybe stick this like on the back, tape it on the back here or something. Honestly, I would normally like stick this inside with the card. You can go ahead, stick your note in there. Sleeving is 100% a recommend when it comes to packaging like this. Now this, I have a slightly bigger um, top loader. 
honestly, as you can see, it would fit perfectly in there. You can just put it in there like this, but I would recommend trying to find a piece of like one of these. Would this probably fit in here? Oh yeah, this would probably fit. Here we go. Oh wow, this fits perfectly too. I'm like finding things that fit perfectly. So I would recommend trying to find something like this. As you can see, this used to be a like um, a sleeve for photo cards and you can put that in there. Honestly, if you don't have a big top loader like this, finding a piece of cardboard and just slapping it on top like I did with this works perfectly fine as well. Make sure it's in a sleeve thing so you can tape it on the cardboard so you're not actually damaging the card. And then for this, you can probably put that in here as well. Yep, that fits perfectly. Honestly, these big envelopes are like a lifesaver. I found them at the dollar store. You can probably find them at your local dollar store as well. They're just amazing when it comes to trading bigger cards. That would fit in there perfectly. And then lastly, we have the very big postcard. I do have this super big top loader. This won't fit in the um, envelope I have, so you'll probably have to buy a bubble mailer. That just goes to show you how big this card is. Honestly, but I normally would recommend finding a um, piece of plastic thing, like a big homemade penny sleeve to put this in. For now, we're just gonna leave it. <laughs> and uh, let's see, this, yeah, this definitely wouldn't fit in here. So I would recommend buying a bubble mailer. I sadly ran out of bubble mailers. I can't show you, but you can buy bubble mailers at anywhere. Basically, you can buy them at the dollar store. You can buy them at like your local like drugstore, whatever, Walmart. You, I buy mine at Walmart because they're super cheap there and whatever. This is one I would like to use my bigger. <laughs> this is from Ikea Season's Greeting. I'll like write the note out on here and then like maybe add pieces of like freebies on here as well. Like I'll stick a freebie here. I'll write my note on the side or whatever. <laughs> like just putting use to these because I'm not going to use this weekly planner. I'll use it sometimes as a notepad. But anyway, I also have some thicker washi tapes. Like I have this super cute Pokemon one. <laughs> I'll usually use these when it comes to big trades like this if I'm like attaching something on it I'll use this with it I don't know it's really hard to explain right now because I don't really have a good example right now it's nice to have the different sizes of washi tape like the super thick one the like here are like some different sizes I have you know it's good to have like different a different variety of sizes it's really hard for me to tell you how to package the big cards because just using top loaders is honestly good enough. Sticking that in a bubble mailer, make sure that you do, actually I would use this. I would use this thick one and just go like that here and then like tape it, you know, close it over so it stays in there safe. I'm not gonna waste my washi tape though because we're gonna leave that. But that's what I would recommend with that and sticking that in a bubble mailer if you can't find an envelope big enough for this thing. But So here's where I normally do my trading. This is my desk in my room. This is, I guess, a little sneak peek to a room tour, which I will one day refilm an updated one, but here's my trading desk. That's my laptop that I do some of my editing on, and then you saw some of these earlier in the video, but this is just how it looks like. I'll sit in my chair here. I'll move that keyboard up so I can have room to trade. Um, and then this is like my trading drawer, I guess. It's where all my top loaders are, and yes, I know I have an abundance of top loaders. They won't even all fit in here because I have so many. Here are my little penny sleeves. These are just freebies that I'll give people like Lomo cards and whatever and like some extra like, little notepads and stickers. These are like all freebies. Um, and then I also some more like um, note cards. And then these are like all my K-pop Market 01 freebies that I've saved up that I also give to people as well. They're just like in a big pile in the back there. Here's some more bigger cards that I'll like give to people and whatnot. But um, kind of like some stickers and whatnot and just like it's kind of a mess in here but that is like my trading drawer here is this you know you saw all this in my video it's where i keep these things and yeah so that's my sticker tin box thing these are full of notepads these are full of little washi tapes there are my um cards in the back there and yeah that's pretty much my um, desk where I trade. That is pretty much everything. That's just the basics on how I package up cards. 
I hope this was easy to understand. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please ask me. If you're confused about anything or if you are curious on where I get some um, of these supplies, let me know and I'll try my best to answer your questions. But I hope this was helpful enough. If you have any other suggestions on other kind of helpful videos, let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to make them for you. That is everything for this time and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!